Welcome back everybody and happy new year's to you. We're out here today at Disney's Animal Kingdom Lodge just to hang out. This is one of our favorite resorts and it's been quite a while since we've spent some good quality time here. Why don't you guys come along? Let's go make some memories together. Now we're actually starting here at the Kadani Village section of Animal Kingdom Lodge, which is the BBC side. And that's mostly because I think this has the better savanna of the two. This savanna does feel a tad bit smaller than the one over at Jumbo House, but I think this one has the best like unobstructed views of everything. It does seem kind of quiet on the savanna today. You can see some animals far off in the distance. Like I can see some giraffes way out there. It's really nice out, so I'm surprised they're not a bit more active. Zebra, Is that a zebra? Yeah. I saw him shaking, but I couldn't tell what he was. I think everyone's just sleeping in because it is New Year's Day, so it's probably just a good lazy day for everybody. And we've got some kind of like antelope, and I see some cattle out there too, some big longhorn cattle. Wildebeest, Wildebeest is that what they are? <laughs> look, look at the crown cranes. They're over there with the Jeep because I'm sure the uh, handlers have food. Got an ostrich over here. Oh, you can't really see it now, it's kind of behind the trees. There we go, ostrich. Got a bit of a run going. Oh yeah, it's definitely lunchtime. Got a whole host of crown cranes getting some feed over there. Imagine the easy life you must have as a wild bird to just swoop in whenever you want and grab food and you can take off, you can go do whatever. I guess this works the same for the birds at the Disney parks. You can come yeah. get popcorn and just fly off. See you later. The savannas also have these higher elevated seating areas. So we're gonna go back inside, head upstairs, see if we can get a better look of the savanna from up there. Maybe we can get a better glimpse of an animal we can't from down here. We actually came up here to the right side of the savanna. And of course, right as we did, the zebras have came out. So we're gonna have to come back down there later before we leave and go see them again. We can see the wildebeest a bit better underneath that tree. I think it's also lunchtime for them. And it's always been a dream of mine to stay at this resort because you know you can get the savanna view rooms and get to wake up to this every single morning. And I can't imagine how amazing it would be to wake up very early in the morning and see them out running around with the weather is super duper nice. It'd be so great. And it's not happening right now, but this tree right here has a little like giraffe feeder on it. We've seen them attach a stick to it with like snacks on it to encourage the giraffes to come out and eat. So unfortunately not right now, but keep an eye on that tree if you guys come to visit. We came to the other side of the elevated lookouts to see a better look at the zebras. And we couldn't see them from down below, but through the brush here, I hope you guys can see them, kind of where the Jeep just passed. There's a little like tiny antelope or some kind of gazelle or an impala. They've also got these really nice uh, info guides out here. So you can turn them as you're looking at animals. So if you qu don't quite recognize one of them, uh, you can get a bit of knowledge. Matt actually pointed out that there's this QR code here, which I'll let you guys scan that if you guys want. But it's uh, all of the animals feature on the Savannah. So if you don't want to walk around and find all these little turny things, you can just scan that with your phone and pull up the thing. And the giraffes are getting a tad closer. They're over kind of where near those Impala are. You actually get great views of the giraffes from up here because through the trees off that way, we've got two of them headed this way. I love giraffes. They are my favorite animal. I love seeing them. They're just so, they're so mystical. They're just so strange. We came back down to the ground level and perfect timing. The giraffes are definitely coming out now. What's your favorite Savannah animal? At least on this one. Because I think they vary a little bit. Yeah, they do. Probably the giraffes. Yeah. Because they're just so graceful. Mm -hmm. I like how they have a very slow reveal. Like they were in the mm -hmm. back and they're just casually making their way back up to the front to say hi to everybody. Much better view of the zebra from down here since they're also getting closer. Oh, here come all the giraffes. Oh my gosh. So this is why I said this is the better of the two savannas because stuff like this happens and there's no, no obstructed view. Look at that. One giraffe, two giraffe, three giraffe, and four. Somebody mentioned that this zebra has been suspiciously still. <laughs> he's been standing there for a good while. He's, he's literally not moving. His, le his legs like kind of cocked the side a little bit. So I wonder if he's just hanging out. He's leaning on a tree. Yeah, he's just leaning. Yeah. <laughs> 
One of my favorite things about these Savannahs is that they have cast members out here who are a wealth of knowledge. They can tell you anything that you could ever wanna know about every single animal that's out here. So don't hesitate to ask questions. Feel free to stop them and be like, hey, what do you know about zebras? And they'll be just word vomiting things about zebras. They're very, very knowledgeable. So originally, a lot of the main reason why we came here to Kadani Village first is because we wanted to eat at Sanaa, or at least get their bread service to go. Uh, unfortunately, they're going to close for lunch and they won't reopen for another two hours for dinner. So we did place our mobile order, uh, but that means we've got plenty of time to head over to Jumbo House, which is the main section of Animal Kingdom Lodge, and go look at their savanna. Uh, you can walk between the two. It's a very, very short walk, but it's a tiny bit of a distance, enough to where they will offer buses to get you to and from each location. But it's really nice out. We're gonna need the exercise, so we're gonna walk. Made it here to Jumbo House, which is again, the main section of Animal Kingdom Lodge. And we're out here on the savanna, and we already see some pelicans. And now these guys are always here. I don't think I've ever seen them move from these branches. Such big feet. Now I do enjoy this savanna, but I do think there are way too many obstructed views. Like all of these rocks over here really block a lot of the good viewing, which is why I like Kadani so much better. This one is still really good. You can see a giraffe way off there in the distance. I don't know if you guys can see it because I barely even saw it, but you know, it's like right, oh, right there. Of course, we've got some wildebeest over there. Got an excellent view of animals from here. Another wildebeest. There's a giraffe back there eating some lunch, and then you got two zebras underneath them. I wonder if the zebras are eating whatever the giraffe drops on accident, which is pretty clever of them. All the wildebeests are actually, I think, hitting heads. Yeah, they are. They're they're bucking heads. That's cute. I've actually never seen them interact like that before. These wildebeests are actually walking off together. They squashed whatever issue they had. Yeah, Matt thinks that those little deer-like things are kudu. I guess we could use the guide to find out what they are. Oh, here comes another giraffe. That giraffe came to join the other one in the feast. Oh, we got some action. I think the zebra got spooked. There's actually two giraffes over there. There's one that's behind the tree that I didn't even see till just now. He's poked his head out. So we've got three giraffes on this savanna right now. Now there are more animals here at the lodge, more than just what we saw here on the savanna. There are a couple other smaller savannas sprinkled around that we each haven't visited yet. In fact, I actually forgot about one over at Kadani that has the okapi. So we're definitely gonna have to check the, that back out when we head back over there for food. Uh, but we're gonna go walk around the pool area here because that's where the rest of the animals are at. Now this one also has elevated viewing platforms, but we're not gonna go up there this time. We got a great view from where we were. But if you guys don't have such a great view like we did, there's one here and one over there. Now to get to those other savannas by the pool, we're gonna head down these stairs. That is the Victoria Falls Lounge. Boma is right ahead of us. And we're gonna go down and out those doors. Just on the other side of the Jumbo House pool, we have our next overlook. We've got some flamingos. They're very squawky, very loud flamingos. And I do like how there's actually some gray ones in there. Of course, the flamingo turns pink from shrimp that it eats. So these guys are kind of, uh, I guess, either really young or just haven't eaten a lot of shrimp lately. Yeah, it's very interesting seeing like true gray flamingos. Well, hello. They're kind of creepy, they're kind of scary. I don't know, I just don't like birds. Oh, there's actually plenty of gray ones over here. What I do like about this overlook is there's a couple different locations you can kind of look at everything. So right now we're on like the lowest platform which is kind of the ground floor here. We were just over there uh, on that kind of raised area. And we've got two more on this side. We've got another raised area right there. And then at the far end, you can kind of see even further back in the savanna. And there's some normal ducks. I don't think you guys are supposed to be there. I think you guys are just hanging out. You guys are on vacation. This elevated area to the left of the flamingos gives us a great view of some of the giraffes that are on this side. They're a tiny bit smaller, and there's uh, some antelope walking around in there, or some kind of um, springbok, maybe. I'm so bad with the kind of um, deer-like creatures on the savanna. But yeah, those giraffes might be younger ones. They are considerably smaller than the ones we saw uh, at the other areas. Occasionally, they'll like open up their wings and start flapping, and I keep missing it. Oh, there's one. Flap, 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 flap. He's just showing off. 
Oh, there's one. Wow. Crazy. I do love how vibrant that pink is underneath that top coat. It's so bright. Now we're gonna go to the final overlook here at Jumbo House, which is the very, very far end. And I think that's a baby. Do you see the baby? <laughs> I forget how many they said they had, but I know they did some kind of like recap at the end of the year to show how many different animals oh, that were birthed here on yeah. property. There was a lot. There were. There's a, a lot. lot of babies this year. That's really exciting. Not only just here, but over at Animal Kingdom Lodge. But it was. It's just cool that like they constantly have newborns here at the resort. Of course, way off in the distance, you can see a lot more other animals. It's kind of hard to tell what they are, but Matt said there's some spring box out there. I see another giraffe. There's a vehicle coming with some of the cast members. So I wonder if they're going to get some more food. And I've actually never seen them activate these little gates, but she just drove through over here and opened up the little barrier. Uh, these little prongs here keep the animals kind of in their own area, keep them away from humans so that they don't get close to us or the balconies, or the rooms and get into trouble or get hurt. So it was cool seeing her open that with her little remote. I don't know if you guys can see this, but I keep getting followed by a bee. I have a drink that has a sugar-free soda in it. It's empty, but he's like flying around my head. He's flying around Matt's head. I don't know. He's on your head. Oh, he's on my head, head now? Oh, look, there he is, there he is. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, bee. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> this is crazy. Yeah, he literally just wants my soda sir and or madam there is nothing in here for you okay yeah see there there it is the bee it will not leave us alone it's following us oh my gosh okay <laughs> well after that exciting little uh encounter we had back there we're gonna head back inside because victoria falls lounge is finally open it's a little after four o'clock we've always wanted to go there we just are never here in time to go do it so we're gonna get a drink and just enjoy chilling in uh, Animal Kingdom Lodge. As with most resort lounges here on property, Victoria Falls Lounge does open up at 4 p.m. They've got a host of exclusive signature drinks, as well as your standard drinks and wines and beers. There's also some lounge where they offer starting at 5 p.m. till 10. I'm definitely gonna be getting one of the signature drinks here because you can't get them anywhere else on property, but I don't know what I wanna get yet. Have you decided on anything yet? No, there's, there's a lot of good options though. Yeah. You mentioned the Seychelles, Seychelles, I'm sorry, martini, uh, but you said you don't want the glow cube. Were you still gonna ask see if you can get it without the glow cube? I'm not sure, that's not usually something that they'll do though. Yeah. Since we are here at the Victoria Falls Lounge, I did decide to get the Victoria Falls Mist, which is Midori Melon Liqueur, Vanderhum Tangerine Liqueur, Banana Liqueur, and Sour Mix topped with Sprite. And I got the Seychelles Martini, which is Bayab African Dried Gin, Raspberry Liqueur, and Pineapple Juice, served with a Souvenir Lotus Glow Cube. Now, as soon as I ordered this one, the very first thing she said was, it's very sweet. Yeah. Which I kind of gather that just based on the different flavored rums and liqueurs and everything in it. Yeah. But it looks good, and I figured we're already here. Might as well get something that's in the same name. And it's very sweet. But I do like, I can really taste the banana too. Oh, yeah. It's, it is very banana heavy. I can smell the banana. Banana's kind of a flavor you can't really hide. hide. Yeah, but I like it. It's a tad sweet than I probably would normally get because um, I don't like super sugary drinks, but I do like it. It is good. I don't know if I'd get it again, but I, I can at least taste the alcohol in it. In fact, I think the banana kind of overpowers it, but I like oh, that flavor. Yeah. It's a good banana too. Mm -hmm. It is a good banana. I was kind of worried it was going to be like the gross, like Laffy Taffy kind of banana. It's borderline. But it's like a good version of it. Mm -hmm. I think it's the like Midori or something else that's like helping that after flavor. Mm -hmm. Now I really like yours. I'm very glad that you ended up getting the martini. Yeah. And we did ask about the glow cube. It is built in, into the price, yeah. so we had to get it. But it's at least a cool one. Yeah, it's one we've never had before too. So. Uh huh. It's definitely very light on like the flavor. You definitely taste the pineapple juice, but it's like a, a lighter version of like just straight pineapple juice. Okay. I think it's kind of a mix of probably like the gin that helps kind of like cut the sweetness of the pineapple. All right. I'm very nervous handling this one. It's such a delicate drink. Oh, it's very light. 
Yeah, that's actually really good. I don't know what flavor I taste the most, but you are right. That gin does cut the sweetness quite a bit. It's it's a pretty dry drink um, with just the touch of, of sweetness from the raspberry and the pineapple, but it's really good. And I do like that glow cube quite a bit. I am glad that, that you did get that. Yeah. Would you get it again? Um, I don't know. I think I'd maybe try something else. So yeah. There were some other options that were kind of higher. Yeah. I definitely think these are both worth getting, but yeah. I like them. I, like, I think I might like yours more than mine. Okay. I'm also just heavy on sweet. Yeah. There's a better look at that glow cube. I definitely think that's worth the extra price of the drink. Also, because we're right above Boma, they just opened up oh, for dinner. Yeah, they did. And I didn't realize they had a, like, kind of, si like, opening, opening ceremony. ceremony kind yeah. of thing. We were up here, and all of a sudden, I heard these drums and this chanting, and I was like, what is that? And then I ran down there, and there was cast members sitting there, and they're playing the drums and welcomed that first family in. And I thought it was really cool. I didn't know that they did that. Yeah, I didn't know that either. Made our way back over here to Kadani Village to see the final Savannah view that we missed the first time we were here. If you go out the front door and take a right, just head down this path, keep going past the pool, and at the very end, you will see the uh, final Savannah where it has the Okapi in it. Well, it's not an Okapi, but we did find somebody else, and he's fighting a bush. Are you embarrassed now? Did I embarrass you? I'm sorry. We are talking with one of the cast members, and unfortunately the Okapis are not out today, they'll be out tomorrow, but we'll keep our eye out for other animals on the savannah. You're just having a great time, aren't you? <laughs> oh, he's fast, he, oh, he's fast. <laughs> and typically you can see like some big birds that are usually sitting on those branches. I don't see those either. What if it's just getting too dark for them? I do see someone else way out there in the savanna, but I can't tell. Here we come. Meow. He's so fast. <laughs> Even though we didn't get to see the Okapi, I'm actually really glad we came down here just to see him run around like crazy. She said he was at Inyala? Yeah, something like that. Something like that. Yeah, very funny. And I asked, I was like, is he doing anything in particular? She goes, no, just having fun, goofing off. I was like, okay. Moments like that are my favorite things to see here at the resort, because they don't happen super often. No, they don't. But I know that we've seen it happen, because when we've been to Sanaa before, uh, when we actually did the sit down dining, the windows inside face out on that same savanna. And like you've seen, like we've seen wildebeest chase each other and zebras just being mean to each other and just kind of play, you know, playing around and having yeah. fun. And it's always exciting to see those real life animals do those real life animal things. Yeah. Came back out here on the Kadani Village savanna. God, I think that's an Ancoli cattle. It looks mm -hmm. a little bit different for an Ancoli. It's, it's an Ancoli. Okay. So I just saw a giraffe, but he disappeared behind the leaves there. And even though the view is a bit obstructed, they do have these nice little rocking chairs we're sitting in. You can kind of see some of the animals from here. Like I can still see that, that cattle above there. But yeah, it's just a nice little area to sit down and relax. There's not a whole lot of people up here right now. It's just nice and peaceful, especially with the sun going down. And the little mini herd of zebras have moved into the spotlight. You can get a better look at them now. And if you guys look here, this little barrier, that's where those little pokey things are at that were like over at Kadani Village, or Jumbo House, I'm sorry. Uh, those are what keep them away. So they keep them in their area and they keep us in our area. I love how close he's getting. Or she. Oh, he's pooping. Or she. It's very lovely. Thank you for that. Finally, time to pick up our mobile order here at Sanaa. This is the Indian style bread service, which is exclusive to Sanaa. These are five different breads, which are traditional naan, garlic ginger naan, spice naan, onion culture, and paneer paratha with nine different sauces. Cucumber raita, roasted red pepper hummus, mango chutney, tomato date jam, tamarind chutney, coriander chutney, garlic pickle, red chili sambal, and spicy jalapeno lime pickle. Now, because we did get this to go, uh, it's kind of hard to tell what is what. So we're not gonna be going over every last bite of everything, but we'll tell you guys what we really love and what we didn't necessarily like. But this bread service is exactly why you go to Sanaa. Like this bread service is worth it alone because it is such a good deal. It's obviously very shareable because it's huge and it is so good. The one thing I did forget to ask about 
is last time we came here, they had a like extremely spicy yeah. tenth sauce that does not come naturally with this. And I don't know if they still have it or not, but by the time that we were already walking, I didn't want to go back because they were very busy. But I remember it was actually decently very hot. Yeah. And like, we can handle spice, but it's been a long time since we've had this. Yeah. I think it's, we've only ever got this one other time and it was just phenomenal. Oh, yeah, it was just but um, I remember liking just about every sauce. Obviously, I think I like some of them better, but mm -hmm. I'm ready to jump right in. I would assume this is the regular naan, just because it, it's the one that's on top. It's so buttery and shimmery. I don't even know if the camera can pick up just how just bright it is. I'm gonna go for this first one on top, which I would assume is a mango chutney. Which one do you think you wanna go for first? Um, this like green one. I think it's like a coriander. Yeah, I think it was a coriander. I remember in the original plating, they put it in order of least spicy to most spicy. Mm -hmm. So if you're adverse to spice, the way that they served it is just literally all the sauces in a container like this. So even though I can handle spice, this mango chutney was a bit more uh, spicier than I thought it was going to be. Yeah. Not that it's anything crazy, but I was like, ooh, that's a bit of a kick. I'll trade just sauces. I know I didn't really like that one. The mango chutney? Mm -hmm. Is it because it's just like sweet and savory together? Yeah. Mm. There's a coriander. Mm. That's a good one. If you guys watched our video on when we went to eat at Disney Springs, the new restaurant, which if you guys haven't, I'll link that below in the description for you at the end. There's not a lot of Indian food here at Disney World. This is like one of the only instances where there's Disney, where there's Indian food year round here. I want to say this one was the cucumber right edge because it looks like a tzatziki sauce. In fact, it smells very, very fresh. Oh, yeah, this is the one that has like the garlic clumps. Oh yeah, I forgot about that one. Mm -hmm. I think that one's supposed to be spicy. I'm so weird with cucumber because I don't like cucumber normally, but you put it in something and I love it. Like mm -hmm. tzatziki sauce, all day. I can eat it all day. So there's that whole clove of garlic, a full clove. <laughs> This red one's really sweet. It's a lot sweeter than I was gonna be. Mm. Like it's, it's like a, it might be a tamarind. Oh. Yeah, because it tastes like an extremely sweet fruity barbecue sauce. Interesting. Mm -hmm. So because we did get this to go, obviously we're not sitting in Sanaa itself. It is downstairs right underneath us. So we're here in this like little lounge. Um, it's kind of designed for you to take it back to your room and enjoy it from there, you know, if you're staying here at the resort. Uh, but I will say I did like how the mobile order even gave me the annual pass discount, mm -hmm. even though it's technically like a quick service, mm -hmm. I'm still getting table service food at a takeout, you know, method. So it applied, so it made it a little bit cheaper. So because it is New Year's Day, figured we talk about some New Year's resolutions for ourselves. Also, I have no idea what sauce I'm eating. It looks spicy though. Smoky, I like it. Mm. Obviously, I want happiness and health and wealth and well-being for us, you know, because why would you not want that? But I think what ties into that, it's funny that we're eating this because I'm going to say I want us to eat better and take better care of ourselves, which if that means that we um, take you guys along and show vegan meals here at Disney or maybe low, more low calorie meals, because being in a theme park, you're going to eat terribly sometimes because that's just what's available or that's what's delicious like this isn't i wouldn't think too bad for you but it's five pieces of bread that's a lot of carbs yeah obviously i want our channel to continue to grow really well which thank you guys all for the support over the last year you guys have been wonderful we are so close to 600 subs which a year ago today we were like 60. yeah we have grown so fast so thank you guys for all the love and support that you guys have given us in this last calendar year uh, it's been a ton of fun making videos for you guys, and I really hope that you guys enjoy watching them as much as we love going out and making them for you. Oh, I want us to be a bit more adventurous with our videos. Um, I would love for us to go to Disneyland at some point this year. Uh, I would love for us to do a cruise at some point this year. I think that would be fun to do. Yeah, I think something I would want to do this year is maybe do an, like, another hotel stay. Mm. You know I, I'm all I about really resort stays. The ones that we've done. Mm -hmm. Cause They're last really year nice. we did Coronado for your birthday. Mm -hmm. We did Port Orleans Riverside for my birthday. Mm -hmm. And then we also did Old Key West oh, yeah. with your family when they mm -hmm. came down. 
which of course we have vlogs for all of those. Um, if you could pick one resort to stay at, where would you want to stay? If I had to pick two off the top of my head right now, it'd be here. Oh well, yeah, I was gonna say here. Okay. Savannah View, I refuse anything else. Or Wilderness Lodge. I've really grown to love Wilderness Lodge yeah, over the nice last year. Yeah, that'd be a very quiet one. Every time I'm there, I'm always loving the vibe. I love everything about it. And to be able to go there and finally do a stay, I think would be fantastic. Yeah, I think those are both good picks. Mm -hmm. I, I was gonna say here for sure. I was like, maybe one of like the Crescent Lights ones. Like, um, I think Boardwalk would be fun. Yeah, Boardwalk. Boardwalk. Well, Beach. Beach is the one I'd probably mm. pick. Okay. With it being so close to Epcot. Mm -hmm. Do you guys have any New Year's resolutions? Do you guys stick to your New Year's resolutions? Because people make them all the time. We have good intentions. Mm -hmm. And then two weeks later, we just kind of give up. So I'm gonna hold you guys accountable. You guys hold us accountable. And we'll, we'll achieve these goals this year, right? I will say this cucumber uh, tzatziki rita one is fantastic for the after the hot ones because it just instantly cools down oh, in your mouth. Yeah. I'm kind of losing track of which sauces I've tried too because we've they're just kind of spread out all, all here in front of us. We've got just kind of this mess of a see. spread. And you keep shuffling them too. Oh yeah. I keep grabbing them, just setting them down in random places. I think another resolution I would have is to make not more important vlogs, but make vlogs that are really honing in on what you guys want to watch. So if there's something that you guys want us to go and do, let us know. Obviously within means, you know, and budget, you know, we're not made of money, yeah, but- Yeah, telling us to do like Corey and Albert. <laughs> I mean, I would love to at some point. Well, not for right now. I know. 12,000 basically. <laughs> But I mean, if there's something you guys really want to see us do, let us know. That way we know what exactly vlogs to make so that you guys are, are entertained because anything we're going to go and do, we're going to, we're going to enjoy making. Um, and I guess another one that I have would be uh, to try some of the restaurants we've not tried. So mm. like Garden Grill. Or, oh, I, oh, yes. Um, I kind of want to do, uh, what's the Japanese one? Takumite, the really expensive one or Shiki Sai, the new one that just opened up. Either one. Either one. Takumite is one of the most expensive, if not the most expensive restaurant, aside from Victoria and Albert's on property. It's over at Epcot, it's in the Japan Pavilion. It's like very, very high-end sushi. Mm -hmm. Like I've heard nothing but phenomenal things about it, but it's like minimum, I think 250 a person. Yeah. And you frankly don't get a lot of food, but it's also like a four hour experience. Oh, it feels okay. like a very, like it takes up your entire day. Mm -hmm. We're getting to this interesting one. I forget which one this is, but it's kind of like a, like a- um, Yoga man? <laughs> Not like a yoga mat. It's kind of like a kind of like a very very soft like Mexican tortilla, kind of sort of. I don't remember if this is the one that has the herbs in it. Either that or this is the one that has the the cheese, the uh, paneer. Is this the paneer one? Yeah. I think it's like a paneer and like herb. Okay. I remember this, this one was kind the of yoga mat one. I remember this one was kind of funky. I hope you guys are kind of enjoying this kind of mukbang video we're doing of us just sitting here eating Indian bread in front of you. I will say I think this bread is my least favorite one so far just from a texture point. I also just love traditional naan mm -hmm. so much. Is this bread service as good as you remember it? Yeah. I think it might probably be easier to eat it at the restaurant. Oh, absolutely. I feel like we're kind of tripping over each other here. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to eat it. And like hunch over mm -hmm. like a gremlin. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's, it's definitely worth it. It's a little pricey. It is $22 for it now, which I think the last time we had it was 19, but that was like two years ago at this point. Yeah. Times are different, but um, absolutely worth getting. A thousand percent shareable, like, mm -hmm. or even if you didn't want to share it, this is a full meal and it's yeah. a delicious meal. Mm -hmm. What do you think your favorite sauce is? I really like the like coriander one. Yeah, I know, that one's almost empty. The that garlic one, the garlic clove. The one with the, jar, the garlic chunks. Garlic chunks, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, for me, it's definitely this one, the, the cucumber one. I also really do like that tamarind one. Yeah, that one's good too. Um, but the mango chutney is also mm -hmm. solid. I like a good savory sweet mix. Hummus over here. Oh. Yeah, it, it came with a hummus too, but hummus is like the most basic one to me. Like yeah. hummus is just hummus. I'm trying to think of which one I haven't had yet. I think. I think this one might be the ultra spicy one. Not like ultra, but like the spiciest the spicy one. Because yeah. I can like visibly see pepper flakes in there. I hope you guys are able to pick that up on camera. It's very, very dim in here. That one is pretty spicy. I will say the sauce to bread ratio 
is a tad bit off. Granted, we're not like scooping it, we're just kind of like dunking it, but there, we have a lot of sauces left, which I guess we can just take home and use for other stuff. Well, anyways, thank you guys so much for coming along with us today to Animal Kingdom Lodge. It's been a minute since we've actually spent some good time here. I'm glad we came out, saw the animals, got a drink at Victoria Falls Lounge, enjoying this amazing bread service. I'm yeah. really glad that we came and decided to spend the day here. And I, we were here a lot longer than I thought we were going to. It definitely, I mean, that was our own planning issue, oh, yeah. but also at the same time, like walking back and forth and just like going back to the savannas and seeing something different yeah. every time I think was really nice to do. So yeah, I'm glad we did it. And I'm glad this was our first vlog of this new year. I mean, I guess it's true. Yeah. If you guys haven't done so already, make sure you guys like our video, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, so you guys get updates on all of our future adventures. Give us a super like if you really love what we do. It helps support the channel, gives us the ability to go do more things to help entertain you guys. And as always, thanks for making memories with us. I've been Adrian. And I've been Matt. And we'll see you guys next time. Happy New Year.